Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at Transformers Siege War for Cybertron. This is Ultra Magnus. Let's go ahead and move him out of the way real quick, and we'll take a look at the box. I did pick this up at Target. Uh, it was the only one on the shelf. Uh, they had shock, uh, Shockwave there, as well as at Walmart. I've seen them all over the place. This is the first time I've seen Ultra Magnus. So I really debated long and hard on if I wanted to spend the $50 on him. Kind of a tight wad that way. <laughs> Ultimately, it came down to either getting him or getting the $10 Scott Howard Funko Pop from Teen Wolf. Uh, ultimately, I chose Ultra Magnus, as you can see here. This is a leader class transformer. There he is on the side. Standard side there. Autobot top. <clears throat> and the back, there's his combat ready mode, his truck and trailer mode, uh, standard mode, uh, and regular truck mode. Um, I have to say I pref actually prefer the white mode over the combat ready mode, but that's just my personal preference. And I did check. He is pretty much the same sculpt as Optimus Prime. I'll get Optimus Prime down real quick to show you guys once we get to that point. For now, I'll set him off to the side. His transformation is actually really simple. The trailer is a little difficult because the instructions that come with it, and yes, it is oversized instructions, they don't quite make it clear on a couple parts what goes to what but once you figure it out it's really simple so for right now we're going to go ahead and take the guns off we're going to transform him into his standard mode while at the same time uh transforming his trailer and then after that we'll put the two together. Very simple transformation, uh, like I said. So first things first, you wanna take his shoulder pads off. And what you'll do with these, they'll rotate these clips that are on the side down, right? And then see this peg here? It'll slide in right there. Just like that. So it'll look something like that. We'll set that off to the side. We'll take his wrist guards off and they clip in on that side right there. And they actually peg in. So you want to remove them like this. There's a hole there and a peg right there. Now, the way this is angled, you want when you go to put it back on, you'll want this side down. Uh, otherwise, it, the peg won't fit in that space if it's any other way. So we'll go ahead and push that back up. Same with this side. And we're going to set them together just like that for right now. Okay, next we'll take the front off, which it unpegs. There's a peg right there that goes into that slot right there on both sides. It does not peg in at the top, okay? But it does attach on the back. Um, be careful with the back because you could easily break it. Once you take this off, you fold this part down. You'll, this red piece here, uh, it's difficult to get your finger in there and pull it. So what you're gonna wanna do, let's come at it from this side, push down, unsnap it, and you're gonna flip this upside down, just like this. And then you're going to set that off to the side. 
once that's done you're going to take his boots off all right let's go ahead and angle this down and you're going to open up his boots they just unclip from the back fold outward just like that okay and that will go on the left hand side same way with this one unfold it that'll go on the right hand side now you'll take this piece right you're going to want to make sure ultra magnus's head is down and you are going to want to slide this in this part is a little difficult because it always wants to come back out you're going to slide that in there's a slot right there and right there slide it in just like that and you'll hold it while you do the same thing to this side and it is slightly different hold tight a second. okay once you get it you're going to want to push it together okay Now, one thing I forgot to do, you'll take these and you notice how I had them just like this, right? <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I should have done this right before, but there's pegs right here. You just peg them on there. Just like that. And <clears throat> it may seem that because Ultra Magnus's head is there, you'd want to peg him the other way, but because of the sides, it won't quite fit the other way. Okay, and that clips There's peg right there and that clips right in there and that's on both sides. Okay Then you take this and see these clips here those they slide in and these this one is a little slightly difficult to do there's that all right now the trailer is done so we'll move that off to the side and we're going to take Ultra Magnus's crotch piece, flip it down, and rotate it, then flip it back up so it's all white. Okay. We're going to take his body, push it forward like that. See it? Push it forward. And then we bring this part up like that. Okay, then we detach his arms, pull them back, open his chest, out pops his head, close it back up, close his arms, and push it back into place. Then his heels fold out, and you have standard form Ultra Magnus. Now, as I said, he is pretty much a, an exact, almost exact, or partial sculpt of Optimus Prime. Uh, you can see where they, on some of the parts where Optimus would uh, transform they've got screws in those pieces so it's held together so it can't transform like that 
but like stuff like the uh, thighs here are new sculpt. The chest piece is the same base sculpt as you can see. They just added this part and put the uh, window over it. The head is identical. The shoulders are identical. Uh, save for these little uh, stacks here. Uh, but everything else seems to be pretty much the same or close to it. All right, so let's go ahead and move Optimus out of the way. And now we're going to transform him into his truck mode. So, what you're going to want to do is open his arms, bring his torso forward, open up the chest, close his head back up, close that, bring his wheels down, so it looks like he's got a ghetto booty. Ghetto booty! <laughs> <clears throat> Push that back. Okay. Now, <clears throat> put his hands like this, and then rotate them just like that, so that the thumb thumbs are facing in towards each other. Okay, you'll bring them back. See, there's this clip here. That pegs in right like that. Just like that. Okay, then you'll rotate them all the way around. Bring it. Sit tight. You may have to bring this forward first and then clip the arms into place. Yeah. All right. Sorry guys, my uh, face is sliding around on me. All right, so once that's done, you'll clip in the heels like that and you'll bring his legs back and they peg together just like that. There you have Ultra Magnus in truck mode. Very simple transformation. And now comes the slightly difficult part of attaching the trailer. So this clip here, this part is going to slide onto the clip. Yeah. This, this is kind of difficult, I'm not going to lie, because things, sorry guys, things do not want to stay in place while you're doing it. See what I mean? So you'll squeeze this part hold it together while you squeeze this part to hold it together and then clips together like that all right then this part comes down just like that if I can get it to stay in place see they really should have did a better design for this <clears throat> and then <clears throat> these clips here will peg in right there maybe
Hold on, dude. Hold tight, guys. Okay, I'm back. All right, so I got this side pegged in. There's these clips right here. They'll clip in to these two holes here. <clears throat> See, th this, this part is very poorly designed. Very poorly designed. I do not like the way they designed it at all. And see, it it likes to come apart on you as you're trying to transform it. Now, once it's transformed, it'll stay, but. It's just getting it to that point that's a pain in the ass. So there he is in truck and trailer mode. Now you have a number of options you can do. You can put his gun here. Or you can put it back here. Um... Why is that not one to stay down? Oh well. And you can put these guns, there's a peg on the side here. Either here or here. Okay. Or you can even put them on the side of the semi if you have them I think no you cannot put them on the side of the semi so I'm gonna put them there and I'm gonna put these rockets I'm gonna attach them to his gun There you have Ultra Magnus in truck and trailer battle mode. So, <clears throat> it's not a difficult transformation. It's the way they, they designed it that really makes uh, transforming the trailer really takes some effort. Uh, everything has to be lined up perfectly and it tends to come apart on you as you're transforming it, which is a huge huge problem um, and see this part normally I get I can get this lock latched down but it is not wanting to do that today I think there we go Still not. So <clears throat> that's the best way I can get it for right now. Normally I do get it all pretty smooth and this leveled out and everything. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult to get it done on camera. Um, but yeah, there's Ultra Magnus in his truck and trailer battle mode. Uh, I really like this figure. And to transform them back is very, very simple. All right, take the guns off. Open up the trailer, raise that up, disconnect it. All right, now you bring this, his legs up, rotate his body around, okay. His arms open just like that and now you can do one of two things at this point you can either 
open this up and op uh, bring his head up and then raise this part up here or you can just go ahead push that back just like that and start putting him in his battle mode or combat ready mode so you'll just do everything in reverse disconnect which is a lot easier okay his armbands this one goes on this side pegs in closes this one goes on this side see the peg here closes open this up rotate it around close it Now, something I like is <clears throat> I like a combination of the two modes. Okay. We're going to fold this back up. And this will go in the back. Now you take this, and this is somewhat difficult. Fold it up. So you fold this part here, just like that. Then you fold that, bring it together, and then this part pegs in here, okay? Same way with this side. Close that. Then fold there. See how I did that? Fold. Pegs in. There's his boots. And I like him kind of like this. I think that looks better. And to show you how he stands up to Optimus Prime, just like that, uh, about a head size taller, not much. So now. <clears throat> If you do want to go ahead and put this chest piece on, or his other head on, you'll fold this part back. You'll fold this up. And it's going to go like this. Okay. Go and open the arms. Pull that back. Close it. Close the arms. And then you're going to want to peg the front end first. So see, those pegs there, they go just like that. Peg in right where I showed you they did earlier. Come down, clip back in, just like that. And there's Ultra Magnus. In his combat ready mode. Now, standing up next to Optimus Prime, he's a good size, good size uh, taller now. Um, and you can do his guns any way you want, but I kind of like having the rockets on his legs.
pegged in right there like that. Okay. Uh, his gun in his hands. And then these guns, you can either put them in his hands or peg them on. I like to peg them on. Peg them onto his shoulders. But really, it's your own preference how you want it done. And there he is in combat ready mode, and he is a beast. He's ready for war. So, again, standing him up next to Optimus Prime. As you can see, he is he's good size taller. But they still use most of Optimus's sculpt to make Ultra Magnus. So anyway, I hope I know this video ran a little long. That's because there's just so much to Ultra Magnus. Uh different transformations you can do with him. Uh and the trailer. It's an easy transformation, but it's a real pain in the ass. Because things like to keep coming undone as you're transforming it and then connecting it to the truck. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more videos. We've got tons of toy reviews on the channel. Uh, we're, gonna, we're doing a lot more Transformer reviews. Uh, we've got comic book reviews, movie reviews on the channel, uh, history and origins of superheroes, uh, Highlander Explained, which is a very popular series right now that we're doing, uh, Voltron videos, uh, just tons of different stuff. So make sure you subscribe and check out the videos on the channel. And uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Take care, guys. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Getting TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.